In this video, we'll discuss finding the area of a sector. So in addition to arc length, we can also use angles to find the area of what is called a sector. A sector is just like a, we can't call like this piece right here. It's that whole slice right here. We can't really call it a triangle um, because it's not, right? We have these two straight sides, but this side is curved. A triangle must have a straight edge, at least in Euclidean geometry. That changes um, in hyperbolic. But for this, our sides should be straight, so it's not a triangle. So how we can come up with this is if I think about the area of the circle, okay, the area of a circle, if you forgot, is pi r squared. What is happening here um, is that we're taking a portion of our circle. The 2 pi on the bottom, remember 2 pi is all the way around. So that would give me, if, if I just did 2 pi over 2 pi, then I would get the whole circle. Right, this is the angle telling me how much of my sector I want. So if I wanted the whole circle, I could put a two pi there, and that would cancel out, giving me pi r squared. But this is the angle in question. This to theta. So it's like here, right? So it tells me how much of my circle will I need. Um, for me, I actually, if I had to do this problem in homework and I was in your shoes with that, where I'm at now, I actually just use that formula. But as you could see, is if I multiply things out here, like the pies would cancel, um, and then we could shuffle things around. We actually get the area of a sector here, um, and an actual formula. We get one half theta r squared. If you can memorize that, that'd be great. I like this because it makes sense to me. Pi r squared is the area of the circle, and then what's highlighted in pink is that proportion, that portion of that circle. Okay, so in a central piv a pivot. Irrigation, a large irrigation pipe on wheels rotates around a center point. A farmer has a central pivot system with a radius of 400 meters. So we're going to deal with the circle here. So there we go. Um, and then we're going to put a center here. I'm going to guess. Um, so we've got here. Uh, I actually, how I do this is just do lines and just kind of guess here. Okay, so there's my center, um, about the center if not exact. Um, and it says a radius of... 400. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. 400 meters. Um, if water restrictions only allow her to water 150,000 square meters a day, what angle should she set the system to cover? So what we're talking about here is not, they're not telling us to find an area. They gave us an area to actually find. We want the area inside here to be no bigger than 150 square meters. All right. So we're going to use a formula that we just received above. Got one half pi r squared, and, or sorry, theta. See, this is why I'm not great at memorizing it. Theta r squared. There we go. Um, and they gave us everything except for theta in this case. We know the area has to be 150. And then we've got one half. I don't know theta, but I know r, which is 400 squared. Right? If I multiply all that using my calculator, I get 8,000 times theta. And now that's just a linear equation, so I can divide both sides by 8 grand. And we get our angle to be 160 over 3, and then this is radians. Um, we could just leave off rad, and remember if there is no degree symbol, then we know that it's radians. Um, but, um, so we could have just left it off. But since we're new to this, I like to put the rad for the first couple sections, and eventually we'll take it away. 